know, the devil's always trying to get us to compromise. How many of you realize that? And to compromise means to go just a little bit below what you know would be the best. I mean, it's just a little bit. And after all, everybody's doing it. But when we compromise, we stop up the flow in our life because we always end up feeling kind of a little bit semi-yucky, a little bit guilty, condemned. You know, the only way that we're going to keep the flow is to always do our best. You'd be amazed at what a flow you'll have in your life if you will just be an excellent person. But what happens? The devil tempts us to compromise. Now this is you, by the way, if you want to know. <laughs> and he comes along and there's going to be this certain party and you know there's going to be wrong things going on there. I mean, you know, you don't have to drink and you don't have to do the drugs and you promise yourself that you'll just sit there and won't get involved, but the devil tempts you to compromise in whatever way it is. And it may not even be anything that bad. It may be something little like not cleaning up a mess that you've made but leaving it for somebody else. It could be sitting and playing on the internet for two hours at work when your boss is out of the office and as soon as he comes back you pretend like you're working. <laughs> and you know it wasn't really the right thing to do but you give the excuse, well, they don't pay me enough anyway. Well, every time you swallow one of those compromises, it's just like the devil came along and said, here's a little dirt for your well. Yeah, we just put a little dirt in there. Get a few rocks and throw them in there. Get a big one. There you go. Hello. Hey. Hey. How's that?